everybody, welcome back to my channel. The holiday season is upon us, in case you couldn't tell by my very cool dinosaur <laughs> jumper. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to having some time off, eating lots of good food, seeing my family, and opening presents. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the childhood excitement of opening gifts is something that's never really left me. In addition to this, I also really enjoy giving presents to people. I like to think that I've cultivated a pretty good gift giving sense and one of the things in life that I really enjoy is giving somebody like the perfect gift or a gift that I know that they really enjoy. Just like anybody else in life, archaeologists can be incredibly hard people to buy for, especially because they tend to have quite a niche area of interest. So I thought that for today's video, I would put together an archeology span gift ideas list for you. I've got 10 ideas for you today that cover a variety of different items and gifts of different price points and purposes, from leisure gifts and toys to more practical things. So hopefully you'll be able to find something today for the archeologist in your life. There are links to the items in the description box below if you need them. They're not affiliate links, so I won't be making any money if you choose to purchase them through that link, just so you're aware. One small announcement before we get started is that this is going to be my last video for the next little while because not only is Christmas coming up and I wanna take some time to spend and really enjoy time with my family, but shortly after Christmas, I am going to be getting married. So right about now is when my wedding stuff is going from zero to 60 and I just, I just can't do a job social life, YouTube channel, wedding planning. I'm planning on coming back to you next spring and hopefully I'll have a lot of content ready to go for you so I can just hit the ground running. Please support my channel by giving me a subscribe and hitting the bell notification button so that when I do come back you will get notified so you can start watching videos right away. You can also follow me on Instagram at rachelalmond.digs. I will still be posting on Instagram throughout this time that I'm taking off because it's a lot easier to manage than producing an entire video. So if you wanna keep tabs on what I'm up to over the next couple months, please follow me on there. All right guys, without further ado, let's dig into the video. The first thing on our list are various sets by Playmobil, which are a children's toy company, but you can also obviously buy this stuff for adults if they still have you know, a child inside like me. So I've got my kind of archaeology Playmobil set here, and I will be showing you a video a bit more close up of what it looks like. I bought this when I was in Germany a couple years ago. The male figurine that you see here is a part of the archaeologist set. It's a specialist figure set from Playmobil, and he comes with a little dig site. I also have added his female companion because I feel like gender diversity is important. So this is actually the Zookeeper Playmobil figurine and she came with a monkey and a bottle but I just repurposed her and gave her some tools. So I've affectionately named them uh, Kathleen and Carter after some very famous archaeologists and they have previously been featured on my desk at work. <laughs> And, and now they occupy one of my bookshelves. The archaeologist set is £10.99, so quite easy and cheap, and there's not really a lot of assembly required. It is more of a display object for an adult, but obviously it can also be used as a toy for children. Playmobil actually has a quite a variety of different sets that are like history themed. So they have Greek, Roman, ancient Egyptian, and some Native American sets that you can buy, which you can find on their website, links in the description. In addition to this set, I also actually have what's known as the Pharaoh's Pyramid. It is a pyramid that you build and it's got secret passageways and you can play with it. Unfortunately, I don't have it here in Scotland, it's in Canada. It will make it way, its way over here someday. From the Egyptian collection, I also have a temple set. So I've got quite a bit of Playmobil actually in my house. Our next item on the list, again, is traditionally toys, but can also be enjoyed by adults, and that are a variety of different Lego sets that you can get and build. Now, one of the biggest things about archaeologists is that we don't actually dig up dinosaurs. That is the realm of a paleontologist, but this is about the closest that you get in Lego to having a museum exhibit on display at the moment that's relatively affordable. So. I'm going to make an exception for this one. And also if you're buying gifts for a paleontologist, this is a perfect set. So this is the Lego Dinosaur Fossil set. You have a Triceratops, a Pteranodon, 
and a Tyrannosaurus Rex that you can build. My partner bought this for me for Christmas last year actually and I really enjoyed taking a couple hours assembling the whole thing. It is definitely a gift meant for adults and not children because it is not meant to be played with. I am perennially afraid to touch it because it's very easy for things to fall off. This currently retails for about £54.99, so a pretty reasonable gift. There are two other Lego sets that I found on the Lego website that you could also get for an archeologist that would be applicable. One is the Taj Mahal set, which is about 90 pounds, and then the other one is the Roman Colosseum set, which is amazing, but a quite a generous gift because it's 449 pounds. Next up we on the list, we have a a variety of items from Selena Jane Designs. So this is a graphic textile designer based in the UK and she creates these designs and then she puts these designs on a variety of items which you can buy. So they range from coasters to mugs, pencil cases, tote bags, etc. And two of the patterns that she has are Egyptologist and Archaeologist. I actually have quite a few of her items. I have the Archaeologist and the Egyptologist makeup bag by her and I use these quite frequently actually especially when I have quite a bit of makeup that I want to take anywhere when I'm traveling. I also have this fantastic archaeologist tote bag so as you can see on the design there's lots of cool archaeologist tools and things and everything all over this bag and I use this really regularly when I'm just like out and about because I don't usually carry a purse anymore so this is definitely one of my favorite items. The prices for the items that you can get from her are from about £12.50 to £30 so quite a good range of items and price points for you to pick from. Alright next up we're moving into themed items of clothes. So I don't know if you've looked online before, but it's actually quite hard to find archaeology themed clothes, clothes that aren't just archaeology jokes. It can be quite hard. One of my favorite archaeology themed clothing items that I have ever found are my Nefertiti socks. So bust of Nefertiti on a pair of socks. I've already worn through one pair and I'm well on my way to wearing through my second pair. When I was looking online I also found a really nice ancient Egyptian themed pair of socks, a Raising Horizons t-shirt, there's are all going to show up on the screen for you, and then also I particularly when it comes to archaeology puns enjoy the I found this humorous pun. <laughs> So any kind of clothing item that uh, has that on it I really enjoy. Speaking of clothing, we're on our fifth gift idea which is good quality dig clothes. So it's really easy to just buy something really cheap and that kind of gets you through for a limited amount of time but personally I have found it to be good to invest in a couple good quality items that are going to last you a long time. If you're trying to choose what kind of items that are best for investing in terms in terms of quality I would stick to your base layers so things like your socks or your like long johns and whatever your undershirt is going to be. So one of the my favorite things to get especially for winter digging conditions are smart wool socks. So these are wool socks. I get the kind of light crew hiking ones. I've actually worn through several pairs of them. They've lasted me a really good long time but wearing them Monday to Friday every week does eventually catch up with them. So they're definitely a good sock brand that I would recommend. Also if you are working in particularly wet or windy conditions I would recommend a pair of what are called seal skins socks. So they're not actually made out of seal skin. They're actually designed as over socks so they go over your socks and they help prevent your feet from getting wet and cold when you're out in the middle of the day and you don't necessarily have a chance to change your socks. This is my icebreaker long sleeve shirt. I've had this for almost a decade now. It is a merino wool base layer shirt. It's by the brand Icebreaker. It was bought for me, I did not buy it for myself, for when I was going to Jordan a couple years ago. It's lasted through multiple washes, it's lasted through multiple dig seasons, and it has just held up really, really well. So it was definitely an item that you know, it was worth the amount of investment that was needed to buy it. That being said, it is quite expensive, so 
kind of my top tip if you perhaps can't aff afford an icebreaker would be to go to like an outdoor store and just look and ask a salesperson for what kind of good quality base layers they would recommend. All right, number six on our list is a coloring book. So in case you haven't gotten into the fad or you don't really know what it's all about, coloring is an activity that we traditionally associate with children. Coloring actually does have the ability to relax the fear center of your brain. It's really something that can help you relieve stress and quiet your mind after you've had a really hard day at work. So there are quite a few archeology span themed coloring books out there. As you can see, this is one of them. This is the Ancient Egypt and Artist Coloring Book. And it's actually produced by, or in tandem with the American University in Cairo Press. To like my first coloring project. I did this just the other week. This book has quite a few different pages of options for coloring. The paper quality is quite thick, so you don't have to worry about pressing too hard. I also just bought myself a pretty generic, cheap set of markers for coloring. So this whole thing probably cost me about 15 pounds in total. So it's really not something that is super, super expensive. I also did look and find a couple other archeology span themed coloring books on Amazon and other websites. And those are in the description if you feel like checking them out. Our number seven gift is a bit more practical and that is tools for an ar any archaeologist kit. Tools have a tendency to go walk about, especially if you're on a site where they're in short supply, or sometimes it's just so muddy you lose track of them and then you lose them, and they do also get worn out. So it might be worth asking your archaeologist what kind of tools they need for their toolkit or what kind of things they would like. Past Horizons is a really great UK website that has a lot of different archaeology tools uh, that you can buy. Tools can also make good little stocking stuffers. So you have things like pens and pencils, erasers, bulldog clips, string levels, black sharpies, tape. All of these things make good gifts and good stocking stuffers. At number eight on our list is books. So if you're an archaeologist, chances are you probably do like to read. So I've divided it into a couple of nonfiction and fiction recommendations. So we're going to start with nonfiction. First up, we have 100 Great Archaeological Discoveries. So this would be a great book for someone who's maybe an amateur archaeologist or who's just starting to get into archaeology. We also have the Handbook of British Archaeology. So obviously this is great for someone who is into British archaeology or perhaps a student who's maybe about to graduate and doesn't already have it yet or someone who's just starting in the field of British archaeology. It's definitely one of the go-to books that a lot of professional archaeologists and archaeology companies have that they reference. I'm also going to recommend one of my personal favorite books, The Secret History of the Mongol Queens by Jack Weatherford. Now this is perhaps more for people who enjoy Asian history and archaeology, but honestly, even though my interest and where I work is not there, I really enjoyed reading this book. I found it really, really well written for a non-fiction book. I usually find them quite boring and this kept me engaged pretty much like all the way through so I found it to be a really easy read. I would also recommend if you're into Egyptology anything basically by Dr. Kara Cooney. She's a very well-known Egyptologist who works out of UCLA. She's written quite a few nonfiction books on ancient Egypt including The Good Kings, when women ruled the world and the woman who would be king. So definitely recommend her stuff. When it comes to fiction, there's so many <laughs> authors that I could recommend, but my personal favorites are Pauline Gedge, Sharon K. Penman, and Michelle Moran. Pauline Gedge and Michelle Moran largely have written a lot of ancient Egyptian historical fiction that I've really enjoyed reading. And then Sharon K. Penman's Here Be Dragons was given to me as a secret Santa gift a couple years ago. And it is about the reign of King John of England. And it is one of the best written historical fiction books that I have ever read. And also was actually given to me by the finds manager at the archeology span company I used to work for. And when she gave it to me, she said, this is one of the best researched and most accurate books on medieval life in England. So it's a really good and historically accurate portrayal. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Another author that is very popular in writing a lot of historic fiction is Wilbur Smith, who recently passed away. His first book on, that's focused on ancient Egypt is called The River God. I have tried to read it. I have not enjoyed it. And so the series is not particularly for me, but it is a best-selling ancient Egypt 
focused series so it may appeal to whoever the person is in your life that you're buying gifts for another really good series to check that i would recommend checking out is the amelia peabody series it's actually written by an egyptologist and it's about kind of the golden age of egyptology it back in the early 1900s when you have all these great discoveries happening in egypt so it's definitely worth checking out all right, so the ninth gift idea on our list is jewelry. It's something that we have been wearing and making for millennia. So what kind of a better gift to give an archeologist than archeology span inspired jewelry? There's lots and lots of different options that you can get for this kind of stuff. Personally, I have been lusting over a lot of the stuff produced by Archeo Studio. They are a shop on Etsy that makes archeology span inspired jewelry. I really love their stuff. There's lots of different brands that make archaeology themed jewelry so just doing a google search would be a, a great way to try and find something and it's something that can be available at lots of different prices depending on what kind of metals and jewels are used in the making of it all right so our last item on the list today feels like a bit of a cop-out <laughs> but i have a reason for it and that is a gift card for a massage and this is largely something that will only apply to people who who do lots of field work. Field work is an incredibly physically demanding job and it does wear on your body no matter how physically fit you are, especially if you're doing it for a prolonged period of time. And while hot baths, Epsom salts and stretching and stuff are all things that can help and make it so that it doesn't happen as often or maybe it's not as painful, they're also sometimes maybe not enough. And a real treat at least I have found, is to go and get all of your kinks worked out of your back by a professional massage therapist. It's also, I think, a really great gift because it's not something that people traditionally tend to splurge on for themselves because they can tend to be expensive. All right, okay, so I lied and there is an 11th gift idea on this, but it's not really a gift idea because I think it's quite niche. Uh, basically, it's a replica Indiana Jones whip. You could also maybe get the fedora, but I don't have that. This is a whip that my dad bought me for Christmas as a Christmas gift a couple years ago. It is a very interesting gift. I'm really glad that I have it. However, does it get a lot of use? No. I tried using it a couple times to get the whip crack and everything after my dad got it for me, but I've never been very successful at it. I personally think that's potentially because it's a bit too long for my height. I think maybe a shorter whip I would have had more traction, but also I have absolutely no technique and nobody's ever really taught me how to use it. So maybe if I got some proper instruction, I would do a better job, but it's definitely a great novelty gift. However, it is quite expensive. So purchase at your own peril. If perhaps your archeologist already has all these gifts or nothing here has really inspired you today, I would recommend looking and doing a Google search archeology span gifts also going to museums, looking at their gift shops. They often can have some really interesting items for sale that you wouldn't necessarily find on the high street. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that I have given you some good ideas for gifts that you can give to your loved ones in the upcoming holiday season. Let me know in the comments if there's any more great ideas that you wanna share with the rest of the community here so we can get a nice big list going. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you've made it, please don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram. As per usual, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them. I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday season spent with lots of people that you love, eating lots of good food and having lots of good time and that you're able to make up for lots time from last year. I look forward to seeing you all next year in spring. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!